When you turn on the teach pendant on, it will permit motion control to the operator using the teach pendant. Number two, things to do to avoid hard stop and over travel. You need to set access limit. Number three, by pressing shift and hard key cord, the jog menu. The three ways of determining a user frame are direct entry method, three-point method, and four-point method. In RJ3 series controller, how many standard user frame? Nine. To define a remote toll center point or RTCP, you need three-point method, four-point method, and direct entry. If you like this video and want some more, just comment below and don't forget to check my other video that are related to this one. What direction does the robot move in the world Y positive if the robot is mounted on the floor? To the left. What are the two ways to control the robot motion limits and boundaries? Dual check safety and access limit. To clear DCS fault, you need to press shift and reset to correct singularity you need to move the robot join pi positive or negative five degrees what are the individual types of jug speed 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent fine and v fine you need to depress the position screen to access position. What key do you depress to change coordinate to jog in joint mode? Shift coordinate. How to clear the robot faults? Press deadman switch together with shift and reset key. We have how many jog frames for each robot? Five jog frames. How to jog the robot using teach pendant? Hold the deadman switch in the center position plus shift key, then press X, Y, and Z, positive or negative. By pressing shift and point, you need to record the current position of the robot. Motion command LP2, 50% fine. If you wanted to change the fine component to a continuous 75, what button would you press? Select component, then press choice. To switch manually from one program to another, you have to be in which screen? Select. What hard key you are going to press to switch a program? Select key. How many robot input outputs are standard on a controller? 16 input outputs. Which hard key you are going to press when creating a program? Select key. The robot system consists of the following, a controller, teach pendant, and a mechanical robot. The recommended motion type to move the robot to a home position. Join. What soft key permit to enter to extra program instruction into an eye pendant? instruction. Name a few input-output signal. Digital input-output, robot input-output, and analog input-output.
Our topic for today is how to move FANUC robot through a routine or a program. At the end of this video, I will attach how to jag FANUC robot so that you will know how to control robot manually. Let's get started. Press which routine in a program you want to run. The at sign is where the robot is in the program and the black symbol or cursor is where the robot to land a forward key is pressed. To step robot line to line in a program, press the step key once. Step status color turn to green means program is enabled. To run the robot through all the program, press the step key once. Step status color will turn green. Status color will turn to green when enabled. To run robot through all the program or from start to end, press the step key once. Step status color will turn green. Press the shift key together with the dead man switch at the back of the touch pendant. And then press either forward or backward key once. And to stop the robot, press the hold button or release the dead man switch at the back of the teach pendant. Our topic for today is how to jack FANUC robot. In a robot system, you may need to jack the robot in the following scenario. If the robot needs to be moved for maintenance, and if you want to teach a position of the robot. First thing first, we're gonna put the controller in manual mode and switch on the teach pendant to enable and then press the dead man switch in the center to override the safety circuit of the door and then press the reset button to clear the alarm to simply move the robot is to move axis one by one axis by axis i'm going to move uh, x capacity going to move X negative. I'm going to move, to move uh, Y. I'm going, to, I'm going to move Y positive. I'm going to move Y negative. I'm going to move Z positive. I'm going to move J J4. Joint number four or axis number four. Axis positive. Axis five. Joint five negative. Doing by positive. Doing six negative. Doing six negative positive. This is axis number one located at the base of the robot, and it allowed the robot to rotate from left to right and it can rotate 180 degrees from the center. Axis number two allow the first arm to extend forward and backward. Axis number three, it allows the second arm or upper arm to raise and lower and extend vertical reach. Axis number four, it's also known as rest it rotate the upper arm in circular motion, clockwise and counterclockwise. Axis number five, this allow the rest of the robot arm to tilt up and down. Axis number six, this is the rest of the robot arm and it will rotate in circular motion and it is capable of rotating more than 360 degrees in rotation.